published 9 o'clock the 16th of July 2018 Jacob Ranson a pitch invader runs to give Francis Kylian Mbappe a high five during the FIFA World Cup final at the Luzhniki Stadium, Moscow, Pico and Humphreys, PA, PA Wire, PA Images France marked their 20th anniversary since winning the World Cup by being crowned once again after sealing a 4-2 victory against Croatia. The French broke plenty more history and national team records in their victory to get their hands on the trophy for a second time at the Luzhniki Stadium. One of the most talked about players at this year's tournament was the name on most lips once again as Kylian Mbappe became the first teenager to score in a World Cup final since Pele in 1958. The PSG attacker was also named the young player of the tournament after his superb displays throughout. Mbappe was not the only French player to break records as Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba silenced his critics with a huge performance. Pogba also became the first player to score from outside the box in a final since 1982. Didier Deschamps also joined an elite group of people as he has now won the prestigious both as a player and a manager with his nation. The records and achievements didn't stop there either as three of the French defenders scored in the competition and the last time they managed that was in 1998 when they won their first ever World Cup. On the other hand you have to take your hat off to Croatia whose first ever World Cup was in 1998 where they finished a remarkable third place finish. Only 20 years on they've managed to finish runners-up against all odds as they would not have been expected to make it into the final. And although majority of the talk was about Mbappe, Luka Modric was deservedly named player of the tournament after the match, which I think most would struggle to argue with as he led Croatia through games when they looked troubled. Back to the game and it was a controversial one as the question rename unanswered or debatable by most did Griezmann dive in the build-up to their first goal, which was an own goal from Mario Mandzukic and was it actually a penalty that France were awarded for their second? It was handball from Ivan Perisic but was it intentional? Other topics that will long be talked about was did Hugo Lloris ruin his chances of securing the Golden Glove with his howler that led to Mandzukic's goal in the right net this time? What a goal from Perisic and what a lovely build-up for Pogba's goal. They'll also be huge talking points across the week.